I'm going to quickly run through the setup for the new Race Flight 1 299. So here at the welcome screen, we just click uh, continue. We select Tyrannus receiver, that's what I'm running. Next. You can watch a video or click next. I click the TBS Unify for my VTX and next. Provides a video if you want. Next. Yeah, I'm gonna run reverse props. Click done. Set up flight controller. It's a racing rig. It's a five incher. Click next. Lay it flat, tilt it forward, click next. Done. Detect receiver. My radio is bound and turned on. Click next. It's going to scan through all the available options. Should get a confirmation here soon. There it is, it found it. Done. We set up the radio, it's still bound, so I just click next. I'm gonna move our sticks and circles here. Make sure you put them back at centered and put throttle in the low position. When you're finished, I usually move around in a few circles and then scroll down and click next. Throttle stick up, click next. Yaw to the right, pitch and roll, click next. Arm position off, and click next, position on. Set up our ESCs. Connect a battery, make sure your props are removed. Confirm in the checkbox, click next. Looks like it worked, I got a few beeps. Calibrate our motors. For this, we have to remove props and disconnect the battery. Don't forget to disconnect. Confirm, click next. Wait till the tones finish, press OK. We're done with that step. Fix our motor direction and idle. So connect the battery again, remove props. Motors are spinning, so we click yes. We've only got front right spinning. So I confirm front right, next. Got front left spinning, next. And the rear left, next. Wait for the tones. Okay, now we're gonna check motor direction. I'm gonna start all the motors. Get a few beeps from the ESCs first. All the motors appear to be in the right direction. And that's it. RF1 finished.